body type is perhaps the most written about body type that I get. Tons of questions, DMs, emails. So today, you apples out there, I'm about to give you all the love. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. And for those who do, welcome back. Today, we are talking about the Apple body type. I've done a few body type videos and you guys really get into them and you have a lot of questions. And sometimes there's a few body types that feel really left out and wanted some more love for just them and I understand that. So today, we're talking about the Apple body type. Okay, so for you apples out there, let's clarify something. This is an extremely common body type, so you're not alone. It does not refer to your size. It is referring to a shape, it's a proportion. So you could be a teeny mini apple size two, or you could be an apple size 22. It's just referring to your middle section is your widest part of your body. So maybe you have really narrow shoulders and narrow hips and a cute little butt, and your belly just happens to be the widest part because everything else is really small. So this is you, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for just you guys. There's a couple famous apple bodies that you may not know of. Katy Perry actually has an apple body. Catherine Zeta-Jones has an apple body. Kate Winslet has an apple body. So feel in good company. These are beautiful, successful women, and so are you. Love your body. Remember, the energy that you put out there, you are going to get back. So if you're walking around and you're like, I don't like my body, I have a big tummy, I call it like, I see like people like talking about their barrel and like their fat stomach and they look pregnant. Like, don't talk about yourselves like that. Look, it's a shape. We all are different shapes, all the shapes are beautiful. Okay, enough of the pep talk, I'm moving in. First things first, I always start with the basics. Apples, t-shirts, you wanna know what type of t-shirts for you to wear. Okay, so let's start, let's start with the most positive aspects of your body. If you're an apple, it's probably gonna be your legs or you've got great arms. So t-shirts is something that we all wear, we do. So for an apple, things that you need in a t-shirt, you need a V neckline or you need a scoop or you need something that's like maybe more off the shoulder. You're looking for anything that opens up the space in your chest area and draws attention away from your middle. Okay, so it could be an open line and maybe you've got like a big chunky necklace. Layering dainty necklaces is very trendy right now, but guess what's coming in? Big chain necklaces, so like a thicker version of that. Something like that, a big necklace with your open neck tee is fantastic. It could be something a little longer that draws the eye to the necklace, but anything that opens up, any type of decoration up here is fantastic for you. You're looking to keep the eye away from your waist. Another type of t-shirt that is fantastic, Empire Waistline. Again, it cuts right under the chest. I've seen some that are like a little tighter on the chest and they're wider, like a sort of a wider boat neck with a little bit tighter here and then they sort of flare out underneath the Empire Waistline. Again, fantastic, drawing attention. If you have a great chest, draw the eye there and then it flares out and it's nice and loose around your middle. Another top that is fantastic for you is the peplum. The peplum actually, a wider cut peplum that hangs loose, that little ruffle that hangs around the bottom, that actually draws the eye down past the belly area and focuses on the ruffle. Such a cute top, it gives you a little bit of fashion sense in a basic tee and it looks fantastic on you. Those are a few ideas. If you guys have some other ones, talk to each other down below. But those are some that I really like for the apple body type. I will also leave a few links to a few of my favorites. I actually, in another video, this video up here, I actually list a whole bunch of t-shirts for the apple body type and jeans. One more thing about a t-shirt that is great for you apples. I just thought about it actually. Band t-shirts or any type of printed tee if you wanna wear a graphic tee, as long as the graphic is right down the middle, typically they're in a square in the middle of the shirt, which actually gives you space on either side, which actually gives the illusion of having a thinner middle. So this is a fantastic thing for you. As long as the writing isn't like all the way across to each side, you need a little bit of space on each side and a space on the top and the bottom, you're golden. Optical illusion, it is your friend. Dresses, you cute apples, you. Dresses are actually amazing for the apple body type. Let's start with the number one universal dress, 
the wrap dress. This is a dress that is almost universally flattering on everyone. It is your friend, all of you other people out there watching. It is a dress that works for almost everybody. So for you guys, for you apples out there, you want to look for maybe a dress. If your legs are your best asset, look for a wrap dress that's a bit shorter, that hits you just above the knee and it shows off your fantastic legs. If you're a bit younger and you want a shorter one, great, whatever works for you. This is a good dress because it actually opens up the neck. It's showing off your chest. You get to show off your legs. Um, if you don't like your arms, get a long sleeve wrap dress and have, wear it to the knees. Super classy, very elegant. Um, it's just a great option for you. The next type of dress that is really good, let's say you love your body and you want a contour tight fitting body or you're going to a dressy event, there are some really cool dresses out there and I'll show you some examples of some A-listers on the carpet and they actually have um, a contour in, cut into the dress by the color. So let's say it's a tight bodycon dress and the black kind of goes in like this. It gives the illusion of your waist being that small. And on the sides, it's actually a different color. I've seen this a few times. There's many designers that do it out there. It's a fantastic trick. Again, all body types, optical illusion is your friend. For all of the body types, it's all about balance. So this is what we're trying to do for the apples. We're trying to give you a waist. So that is um, the contour dress. The next dress that is fantastic for you, any type of asymmetrical hem or asymmetrical ruching, some light draped dresses, absolutely gorgeous. Anything that ruches over to the side, you wanna be careful, you don't wanna have too much material that's gathering around your waist, but anything that's asymmetrical that kind of has something that drapes over to the side or the hem is asymmetrical, it gives off an illusion and you can't really tell where the waist is. This is a beautiful type of dress for you asymmetrical. Next on the list is the fit and flare. This is your friend apples because it flares out. So again, you're looking for balance. So like an A-line dress or an empire dress, anything that kind of gives that balance. And a fit and flare can be really short. They're fantastic. You can show off your fantastic legs. You can show off your arms. It's a great piece for you. So just kind of keep these things in mind. Focus on what you love versus what you don't like and go with something that makes you feel really good. Another great piece for you is any type of layering piece. There's a lot of Apple body types actually that are hosts on TV. I'm thinking of one in my mind. She's always wearing lots of vests. So you know what that does? Cut off the sleeves. You wanna wear a long sleeve shirt. You wanna layer. It's good for many different seasons. It actually gives the illusion of a thin line going right down the middle. So you put on a vest that looks fantastic. You can drape even something as simple as a scarf draped over your neck. Maybe you have a V-neck tee on, you've nailed the tee, throw a light scarf over and it hangs down. Again, it just breaks up that middle. So it just gives the illusion of a thinner, a thinner torso. Um, that's a fantastic piece for you. So scarves, vests, um, a jean jacket, leather jacket, again, anything that breaks up that torso. So instead of it being one whole color, you've now got a different color and something down the middle. Fantastic for you. Layering is definitely your friend as an apple. Um, all good for you. Jeans for the apple body type. I get this question a lot, especially when I did this video, dress right for your body type. Jenny, my makeup artist, was in the video and we only showed one outfit and many of you wanted to see her in more outfits. Check out that video, it's got tons of views. It's been one of my most popular videos. But jeans, so something that you need to know about dressing your body type as an apple, high rise is all the rage and it is fantastic for you. If your middle is your widest part, a low rise or a mid rise is not great because though that jean band is cutting you right around your widest part. This is what often gives you like that muffin top. You don't actually have a muffin top. The jeans are actually too tight for you or they're just not the right fit for your body type. It has nothing to do with your body. Love your body. So jeans, you want any type of high waisted. Again, I did a video on that and I linked some of those in that video. I will give a few links down below of jeans that I love for an Apple body type. Okay, so that's almost a wrap for you apples, but I just wanted to briefly touch on color and texture. 
um, of material, something that is fantastic for all body types and not just apples, is actually a monochromatic look. I talk about this all the time in my videos, but something you can break up that monochromatic look is with texture. So maybe you have a vegan leather jacket on and that's breaking up your shirt. Maybe that's black, but your black t-shirt could be um, a shinier material or maybe it's a cotton. And then down below you have a different textured skirt or pants. That's all fantastic. It breaks up the outfit while still keeping you monochromatic. And then color in general, it is whatever looks good on you and whatever matches with your wardrobe. I'm actually doing another video on how to curate your wardrobe and I'll talk more about color in that video. Besides that, go with what you love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Apples, I love you. I'm here for you. Send me all the questions. I'm gonna answer them. You guys are awesome. And don't forget to talk to each other. Remember to talk to each other down in the comments below. There's lots of people that list their favorite jeans and their favorite tops and it's super useful. You guys are a great little community of XOers and you're all down there chatting with each other. So remember to read those comments. That's it. I will see you guys in the next video. For those of you guys who know me, my name's Kim. No, if you don't know me, my name's Kim. It's Kim if you don't know me or you do. I'm an inverted triangle, so I have to be careful with that with a larger chest. I need something that is more of like a fit and flare. Back to the apples. Actually, cut out the whole thing about me. This is not about me.